join us for the hymn G44, Be Not Afraid. Please join us in singing hymn G44. Let us pray. O oh God, whose nature is always to forgive and to show mercy, we humbly implore you for your servant, whom you have called to journey to you. And since she hoped and believed in you, grant that she may be led to her true homeland to delight in his everlasting joys. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. reading 
from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, see what love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God, and that what and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we will be has not yet been revealed. What we do know is this. When he is revealed, we will be like him. For we will see him as he is. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the book of Revelation. And I, John, heard a voice from heaven saying, Write this, Blessed are the dead who from now on die in the Lord. Yes, says the Spirit, they will rest from their labors, for their deeds follow them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. When Mary, the sister of Lazarus, came where Jesus was and saw him, she knelt at his feet and said to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping, and the Jews who came with her also weeping, he was greatly disturbed in spirit and deeply moved. He said, Where have you laid him? They said to him, Lord, come and see. Jesus began to weep. So the, so the Jews said, See how he loved him. But some of them said, Could not he who opened the eyes of the blind man have kept this man from dying? Then Jesus again, greatly disturbed, came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone was lying against it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the sister of the dead man, said to him, Lord, already there is a stench, because he has been dead four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that you, if you believed, you would see the glory of God? So they took away the stone, and Jesus looked upward and said, Father, I thank you for having heard me. I knew that you would always hear me. But I have said this for the sake of the crowd standing here, so that they may believe that you sent me. When he had said this, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. As we gather today to celebrate life of Emilia, we thank God for this great gift God has given to us. Today when we gather around this altar, we give back this gift to God, thanking God for the many years we spent with her and all the blessings that came to us through her presence in our lives. The Gospel reading that we have today beautifully tells us the story of Lazarus. There is one sentence, the shortest sentence in the Bible, that capture our attention. It simply says, Jesus wept. This is the shortest sentence in the Bible. There could be nothing simpler than this. But this simple sentence has got so much to teach us today as we gather here to celebrate the life of Amelia. It has got so much to say to us, to the family and friends who mourn the death of Amelia. When a parent dies, especially the last parent, we have lost our beginnings and our security. The world is definitely different without parents. Amelia was the most wonderful mother and grandmother, a sister, a friend to most of you. She reached out to you when you were the most difficult situations. She stood by you. The obituary written for her tried to capture a little bit of 
who she was. She was a woman of faith, always filled with the love, warmth, and comfort. And of course, amazing homemade food. The lesson she shared, particularly those in cooking and gardening, are important on the hearts of those she loved. Hopefully, her legacy will carry on through them. Throughout her life, Amelia taught those around her the importance of kindness, care, and empathy, always leading by example. Amelia's life as a testament to the enduring power of love and resilience. Every mother, when she dies, she carries with her all her pain, sorrow, which are not shared with any, any but leaving behind the legacy of motherhood. In the Gospel we see that Jesus had just returned to the village of Bethany, to the home of his beloved friends, Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. His dear friend Lazarus had died four days earlier, and there was intense mourning. Jesus came and stood among these mourners in the midst of this deep sense of sorrow. He heard their cries of pain and loss. He saw tears streaming down despondent faces. It must have been a chilling scene. In the midst of this dark moment of weeping and sorrow, Jesus himself felt intense pain and he weeps. This is where I'd like you to remember one important thing. Throughout the, this suffering, even as hot tears flowed from his eyes, Jesus knew in a matter of seconds he was going to raise Lazarus from the dead. The young man would soon be up, walking around, hugging his sisters, and rejoicing with his friends. So if Jesus knew all along that Jesus last Sunday would soon be alive again, why is he weeping? Why would he feel such deep sorrow just before he was due to perform a joyous miracle? Jesus weaves as an act of solidarity with those who grieve. It is a weeping solidarity that reveals a God who enters into the fragility and suffering of human life. Jesus wept to demonstrate that you and I are not alone in the midst of hope and tragedy and brokenness. Jesus is God with us. There is also another reason when Jesus began to weep, the Jews said, see how he loved him. Jesus weeps as a sign of his love for Lazarus. Not just to be in communal solidarity with Mary and the others, but because Jesus loved Lazarus. There's a message for you all the morning. Jesus can understand your heartbreak. He can feel your pain as he felt the pain of Martha and Mary. He weeps with you. Even though we who are gathered here around you may not understand your pain, I may not be weak with you, but Jesus who loves you understands your pain, and he is with you in your pain. And this is what gives us consolation in the face of death of our beloved ones. 
Death is dead. Jesus conquered it. The dead millia experience now is only, only a passage to another life which is more permanent and more eternal with no pain, no sickness, and no more death. So as we gather today around this order, we thank God for her life and for calling in Christian life. Let us place her in the hands of our Blessed Mother. She understands her pain and suffering. May she intercede for her. May our Lord grant Emilia eternal rest in the heavenly kingdom. May her soul rest in peace. Now we stand to pray for the needs of the world. God, the Almighty Father, raised Christ, his Son, from the dead. With the confidence we ask him to save all his people, living and dead. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. In baptism, Amelia received the light of Christ. Scatter the darkness now and lead her to your unending joy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Emilia was nourished at the table of the Savior. Welcome her into the hall of your heavenly banquet. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the many friends and family members who have gone before us and await the kingdom, grant them an everlasting home with your Son. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Many people die by violence, war, and famine, and famine each day. Show your mercy to those who suffer unjustly. These sins against your love and gather them into your kingdom of peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The family and friends of Amelia seek comfort and consolation. Heal their pain and dispel the darkness and doubt that came from grief. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We are assembled here in faith and confidence to pray for Amelia. Strengthen our hope so that we may live in the expectations of your son's coming. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our shelter and our strength, you listen in love to the cry of your people. Hear the prayers we offer for our departed brothers and sisters. Cleanse them of their sins and grind them the fullness of redemption. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Please join us in singing hymn G41. Mm.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant, we beseech your mercy that she who did not doubt your son to be a loving Savior may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him, the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for a faithful Lord, life is changed, nor any. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. I saw with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without it we Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the If you are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created, rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather the people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to set it, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
The Mystery of Faith. Save us, Savior of the world, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, let us look forward to his second coming. We offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we were nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit. May become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain our inheritance with a light, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph response, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity the pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, my Clavisher. Remember your servant, Amelia, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with his son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. When from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom, where we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages, and praise you without end. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, now we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The glory of yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church. I am graciously grant you peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live our reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other a sign of peace.
please name. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy. They should end under my roof. But the least of all, my soul shall be Now it's the time for communion in the Catholic Church. If you normally don't receive communion in the Catholic Church, please be seated or you're welcome to come forward for a blessing and just placing your arm on your chest. I will know that you, uh, that you are requesting a blessing. Otherwise, everybody else, please come forward for, to receive a communion. Can you or stand
Please all stand. <coughs> Let us pray. Lord God, whose Son left us then in the sacrament of his body, food for the journey, mercifully grant that strengthened by it, Amelia may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. In baptism, Amelia shared in the death and resurrection of Christ. May she be welcomed into the glory of eternal life. As a sign of respect for Amelia, we let this incense rise to God, who was ordered to share in his glory. that one day we shall be with work in heaven. 